Should a woman support her ex-husband financially? Whatever your personal opinion, Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, has several good reasons to stand by her ex-husband, Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, Duke and Duchess of York, go way back. Fergie and Andrew met in childhood, long before they married in 1986. Fergie's father worked as a polo manager for Philip, and the two young children enjoyed playing outdoor games together. While the couple separated in 1992 and officially divorced in 1996, their lives remained intertwined. That same year, Fergie sat down with Oprah in a revealing interview about her marriage to Andrew. You actually ma you didn't marry to get the fairy tale. You married a man. You fell in love and you married the man, and then you've got to come to terms with the fairy tale. Over the years, the Duke and Duchess of York worked together to raise their daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. More recently, Fergie was forthcoming with words of emotional support for her ex-husband after Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee, telling The Times that he was a good and kind man. Since 2006, Fergie has shared a home with Andrew at Royal Lodge. Even so, they each have their own separate spaces in the vast 30-room home. However, now that King Charles is reportedly planning to eliminate Andrew's yearly allowance of £249,000, the Yorks may have to leave Royal Lodge for Frogmore Cottage, a smaller home after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle move out. While Andrew is opposed to moving, he may not have the financial ability to stay, given that he only has an annual naval pension of £20,000 and hasn't been a working royal since 2019. However, Fergie has once again proclaimed her willingness to support her former husband, this time financially. But how can the Duchess take care of her ex-husband? It's likely because, unlike some royals, Fergie has experience earning a living outside the family. She revealed to Harper's Bazaar in 2007 that, I wanted to work. It's not right for a princess of the royal house to be commercial. Andrew and I decided to make the divorce official so I could go off and get a job. Over time, she has worked as an entrepreneur, Weight Watchers ambassador, and author. Her books include memoirs, children's books, and historical romance novels. The Duchess has been contributing to her family's finances since she published her first children's book, Budgie the Little Helicopter, in 1989, while she and Prince Andrew were married. Now she's expressed her willingness to continue working to help her former husband. Speaking with Hello, she explained that, "...since he stepped back from royal duties, he doesn't actually take taxpayers' money, and I'm in a position where I can support him and the rest of the family through my work." and I'm really pleased and proud to do that. Fergie also has empathy for Andrew's situation. She's been through some financial hard times herself, and Andrew has come to her rescue. In 2010, the Duchess faced bankruptcy after she accrued millions of pounds worth of debt. To help her, Andrew instructed his palace staff to work out a plan so she could pay down her debts. But now the tables have turned, and it's not just devotion to her family that has encouraged Fergie to step up as the breadwinner. Queen Elizabeth had a special relationship with Prince Andrew, and he was reportedly her favorite child. In turn, Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, has been devoted to the Queen. She told The Telegraph, "...I've always admired and adored her. Really, she was more of a mother to me than my mother." She admired her former mother-in-law's ability to listen and never judge. Their bond increased during Elizabeth's final years as she dealt with the stresses surrounding Andrew's settlement with Virginia Dufre in a sexual abuse court case. She explained, "...I think H.M. was very relieved I could help her with him, so we became even closer then. She knew I will always be there, always, because I love her."